Hello, this is Barb Binder with Rocky Mountain Training. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor on FrameMaker, and in this video I want to show you two ways to assign custom master pages to the body pages in your Adobe FrameMaker 11 documentation. Let me start out by just defining a body page so that you're familiar with that concept. This is body page one in this document. This is a 13 page chapter of a longer book and the body pages are the regular pages that we work with every day in FrameMaker. As I scroll down I'm showing you body page two and body page three. Notice that I have a very consistent application of my headers and my footers. My headers all say chapter one planning for commercial printing and the footers all show the page numbers and that's consistent throughout all 13 pages of this document. One question I can count on getting from at least one student in every Introduction to Adobe FrameMaker training class is how can I remove a header or a footer from the first page of my chapters? And my students are asking me that because they've learned how to put them in and then they realize that they can't just click and remove them to take them back out. So the answer to the question is through the use of custom master pages. You're allowed to have up to 100 master pages in a single FrameMaker document. And a new double side document starts out with two default masters, a default left and a default right master page. You could add additional master pages that you can then assign to the various body pages in your document. So, in this particular situation, I don't want to have the running header on body page one, and I want a bigger top margin, so this clearly looks like it's the, new, the beginning of a new chapter. To show you what that's going to look like, I want to take you to the view menu and show you the master pages. This is the default left master, this is the default right master. They're currently in use on all 13 pages. But if I scroll down to show you, I've got one additional master page in here. It's a custom master page, it's called First, and I can see the name in the bottom middle of my screen. It says First, three of three. The things I've changed about it are basically I've removed the, the header from the top and there's a bigger top margin. Now if you want to create your own custom masters, you do so in the special menu through um, Add Master Page. But I've already got the custom master page, so I just want to assign it to body page one. I'm going to go back to the view menu, back to the body pages, and there's two ways to assign a custom master, manually and then automatically. Let me show you the manual technique first. With body page one active, I'm going to go to the format menu, I'm going to come down to Page Layout and over to Master Page Usage. I want it to use a custom master page. Which one? The one called First. And I want to apply it to the page that's selected, which means the current page. And it's confirming in parentheses that my current page is page one. As soon as I click Apply, I'm going to have that new master page assigned. You can see the header is now gone and I've got a bigger top margin. But it's only assigned the custom master to the first body page because that's the page I had active. If I go show you body pages two and three, they still have the look that they had before. So that's the first technique. Now to remove the custom master, I'm gonna go back to the format menu back to page layout, I'm going to come down to master page usage and if I click the button that says use master page right left and then click apply I'm letting FrameMaker figure out if that's a right page or a left page it then assigns the appropriate default master. So I'm back. Now there's a second way to do this and this is an automatic technique. It uses something called a master page mapping table and if you've never use this feature before in a new document, when you go and you choose the command, it appears like you're being ignored. So let me do that with you now. I'm going to go to the format menu, I'm coming down to page layout, and I'm going to click on apply master pages. And as promised, it looks like I've been ignored, nothing happened. But what did happen the first time I picked that command is it creates a new reference page. And to show it to you, I'm going to go to the view menu, reference pages. I'm currently on reference page 7 and you won't see this in a file where you haven't chosen that command before unless it was part of your template. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's happening here and there's a new table that's sitting on the last reference page in my documentation. It's basically asking me a couple of questions about what I want to do with my custom master pages. 
what I want to do is assign my custom master page call first to a paragraph tag. And the one paragraph tag that I can count on always appearing on page one and never appearing anyplace else is my chapter title. So I'm going to go ahead and type in chapter title under paragraph tag name. And my first pages are always right hand pages. So under the column that says right hand master page, I'm going to type in the word first. I'm not worried about a left hand master because my page is always open on a right hand page but I want to set the page range and I want it to assign it to just a single page just the first page so before I go back and look at this and look at my body pages again let me just say that the paragraph tag I'm associating the master page with is called chapter title it's a right hand page and I want to assign it to just a single page I'm going to now return to the body pages and I'll zoom out so you can see what's happening and nothing has happened yet because I haven't actually assigned the master pages but here is the chapter title tag I've associated the master page with that tag so as soon as I go up to format menu page layout apply master pages FrameMaker reads the information on the reference pages including the information in that table it sees that the instructions to associate the custom master page called first with the chapter title paragraph tag and it does it automatically didn't do it to the other pages because I gave it a single page range so body pages two and three have the default masters but now my body page one is using the custom master automatically you can assign those custom master pages either on a document by document basis using the format menu page layout apply master pages or you'll find that there's a little check mark in the update book uh, dialog box where you can whenever you update your book you can say and apply my master pages so that at the book level whenever you update your book to make sure all the page numbers are accurate your table of contents and index are accurate FrameMaker can also be re reassigning the, the custom master pages which takes all the burden off of you the user to remember to do that FrameMaker doesn't forget so as long as your table was done correctly, you don't have to worry about it again. I love that feature and I use it all the time.